I survived 100 days on an asteroid. The only way to get resources is to shoot these asteroids flying by you with this ray gun. Super rare things can spawn as well, such as satellites, frozen astronauts, and even a UFO. And each shot is different. Some will give you basic loot like cobblestone and wood. And if you're lucky, you can even get netherite and spawn eggs. And it gets even more insane as the video goes on. And please subscribe because this video took a very long time. Anyways, will I be able to defeat the ender dragon? Well, keep watching to find out. Okay, I'm suffocating on a little asteroid. What do I do? I'm gonna suffocate. What do I do? Okay, what's my inventory? A ray gun astronaut helmet. This provides you. Okay, I'm gonna die. Let's put it on. Okay, okay, it looks like I have an oxygen supply and I'm healing again. That was pretty close. And what are all of these things flying by me? What is happening? What is in my inventory? I have a ray gun. This can shoot. What? I can shoot with my ray gun. That is sick. I already have a beacon. What is this? Oh, it's an oxygen generator. It produces oxygen in a small radius. It can refill my helmet. Okay, I'm at 73% right now. What if I put it down? And it's gaining back. Okay, it looks like I can finally breathe now in space. Yo, I got a villager spawn egg. Yo, he's got a helmet on. On too. What's good, bro? The helmet's not on his nose, though. I have no idea how he's breathing. His nose is so big. Join me in space. Yeah. Oh, I could jump really high. I'm Michael Jordan. Oh my god, that thing just slapped me in the head. Okay, there's a lot of asteroids going by. Oh, I gotta be really careful, though. Oh, that's a satellite. Let's shoot it. What would it give me? And oh, I got satellite scraps. This ingredient is used to craft jetpacks. I can have a jetpack in this game. Oh, that's insane. And I got a lot of loot. Oh, it's gonna hit my planet. I gotta shoot all these. What does it give me? Oh, I got a blaze rod. Okay, I got sugar cane and some seeds i need some dirt so i can make a farm because i'm gonna starve soon unless that eats you i mean to be honest that nose is gonna feed me for like three days but this is so awesome i can shoot all these asteroids and it gives me random items oh i got four diamonds sick i really need food and i still need some wood so i can craft like a pickaxe and mine this asteroid but i spent the rest of day one shooting all of these asteroids and whatever came by to collect as many resources as i could I have a full inventory of stuff, but still no signs of wood. At least I have some food to munch on, though. And let's use all of these random blocks to expand my asteroid, because it is pretty small. So let's flatten it out a little bit. And I also have a chicken spawn egg. Join us. And let's just throw all this junk away. Yo, it's just floating off into space. I mean, I guess that makes sense, since uh, there's no gravity over here. But let's continue hunting for wood. There must be some hidden in these asteroids. Another human. Yeet! I got a rabbit spawn egg. Hey, what's good? Please don't jump off. No! No, let me let me put you out of your misery. Oh, I actually hit him. Oh, what are you, what are you looking at, huh? Got, I got a ray gun. I don't think you want to mess with me, boy. Ooh, I got myself a lava bucket. And with water, I can make a cobblestone generator. Ooh, another person. Yeet. And ooh, I got my girlfriend. But now let's continue shooting all of these rocks because I still haven't got wood yet. Oh, there's two satellites and no wood. All right, finally got myself some planks and two saplings, luckily. Now let's quickly expand this rock even more. Let's slap down the dirt, bam, and the two saplings. Ye oh, no. Oh, I thought that rock was going to wipe up both of those saplings. I would have been so upset. And now I can finally make a crafting table and a chest. I don't need to use this ghetto chest anymore. And now we wait for these saplings to grow. And this 100 days is going to be crazy. I'm having so much fun shooting my ray gun at all of these different asteroids. So if you guys are enjoying it as well, please consider consider subscribing because making this video happen took forever anyways let's keep shooting yo an asteroid hit my chest and everything is flying up no my diamonds i had like 32 diamonds okay i can retrieve them if only i had a jetpack okay i just i just want those diamonds back come on please and my crafting table okay i got my diamonds i got four uh, okay i got it back i got it back come on no and give me that yes okay let's make a wall that's reinforced come on get out chicken you're in the way get out this is not the time slap down the chest and let's put all my stuff in here and now let's collect everything else that i'm missing resources are a scarcity over here so i must collect everything and i think i got everything holy cow that was kind of scary i really hope this chest doesn't get destroyed by an asteroid there's no way it's breaking through two layers of blocks right just to be safe let's add some more blocks to reinforce that chest i'm not sure how tough tough is but i'm sure it's gonna be tough <laughs> oh, that wasn't even funny. And on day eight, while I was grinding resources and shooting all of these asteroids, something tragic happened. I lost myself a friend. I accidentally shot my villager with the ray gun and he died. The first friend I met on day one is gone. And it was mainly his fault because uh, he walked into my ray gun. But rest in peace, villager, in the comments, guys. No, my villager, my only friend is gone. That's so sad. Hopefully we can get another one eventually. But with all of this wood that I just collected, I can finally make myself a pickaxe. And I do 
have a lot of diamonds. So let's start with a diamond pickaxe. Let's go. And let's increase the size of this chest room. There's another chest and my crafting table. And with this pickaxe, let's get rid of all of this mess over here. Oh, another asteroid hit. It actually broke some blocks here, I think. It luckily didn't hit my chest. So I gotta be really careful. These asteroids are super dangerous. Let's reinforce this up with some cobblestone. And I'm actually curious what's inside this asteroid that I'm living on. Maybe there's some special loot in here. Let's dig around and see. Oh, I found some coal. And that was about it. Oh, an asteroid. Pew! What did I get? A mushroom spawn egg. I spawn him in. And this guy will be really helpful for me to eat. I can milk him for some mushroom stew. But yeah, there's basically nothing valuable inside this asteroid. But you gotta remember, every 20 days, this asteroid expands. So I might get lucky enough to have some like netherite scattered around here. And with all of these extra blocks, let's build myself a farm for my potatoes and carrots. And I do have some seeds as well. And some melon seeds. Let's just grow all of this so I can have enough food to survive in space. Let's make an infinite water pool. A iron hoe, because you know, why not? Beep, bop, beep, 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 bop, bop, bop. And let's plant all of these down and become a farmer. And let's replant my tree farm. Oh, I'm out of dirt. Okay, let's keep shooting. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Bam, bam. And to be safe, I'm going to add a wall to protect my crops and my tree farm, just in case the asteroids come and demolish it. There we go. We're looking like Donald Trump now. We're building walls everywhere. Oh, here comes the first rock. Will it break it? And... Um, okay, it, it just went right through it. And I wanted to see all of the different materials and valuable stuff I can get from shooting these asteroids. So I spent the rest of day 11 just shooting everything I can with my Call of Duty ray gun. This brings back memories. After shooting a bunch of asteroids, my entire chest is full of items. And I ended up getting a lot of spawn eggs as well. And the most important part, I got my friend Villager back. My boy with a ginormous nose the size of Texas. Oh, he didn't like that joke. My apologies. I also got a horse spawn egg and two pairs. I'm pretty curious what these pairs will do because they can fly so will they just float oh my god i got a blue one i've never gotten a blue one before it's always red this guy must be rare right okay sit down sit your butt cheeks down all right you're staying right there i guess i already tamed him without seeds i have magical hands <laughs> spawn another one in oh i got a gray one with yellow hair all right that's sick and with all of my diamonds i made a full set of diamond armor and i still made a helmet might as well put it on right oh i'm gonna die i'm gonna die put it on <gasps> Oh, I'm at one heart. Okay, that was... I almost lost all my progress. Okay, let's eat this canned bread. And let's heal up. This is scary. And let's expand my chest room here. It's looking pretty ghetto. Let's make an actual wall like this one to protect it and reinforce it. And put some more chests down because this is looking like a mess. Oh, I just saw a guy fly by. Go, 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 go. Oh, another mushroom spawn egg. Now you have a friend. You guys can make love now. Anyways, I got the wall built. And let's destroy this little hut I made. And now let's add some more chests. And there we go. We got some new chests in place. Ooh, another astronaut let's shoot it down and i got a cat spawn egg oh boy do you guys see the astro just hit the wall thank god i put that there hopefully these animals don't get hit by one because it'll be kind of sad if i lose some more animals oh boy these rocks are getting real close oh okay um let's just hide behind this wall uh, okay and let's start working on an actual home for these guys let's take all of my logs make some fences and let's build it right over here i'm just gonna cram all of them in this little spot let's grab some wheat luckily this one is fully grown oh i almost lost that one and come here buddies let's get the cows in first you will be safe here don't you guys worry and you're in prison now <laughs> and where did my bluebird go did he die hello no there's no okay oh my god you're living on the edge right now brother let's also make the birds a little home i'm not sure how i'm gonna build them a home but let's first off move these chests somewhere else let's build up this wall right in the middle and place the chests over here oh my god there's phantoms in space too oh no this is is not good it's always nighttime over here too please go away oh my worst nightmare if you guys watch my videos you guys know i hate phantoms i really hope he gets hit by a rock dwayne johnson comes through and punches him Ugh. i am dwayne johnson he just got hit by a rock and here's my new chest area i'm actually gonna move this beacon too hopefully i can break it because if this thing disappears i'm not gonna have oxygen i'm gonna die okay i got it back and let's put it down before it suffocates oh oh no oxygen oh, oh okay maybe i shouldn't put this here i should probably leave it in the middle now let's build some stairs up over over this wall so i can actually see these asteroids and shoot them because right now it's blocking the entire view of all of these flying asteroids hey be careful william if you go up there you might get slapped in the forehead by dwayne johnson himself and there we go we got staircases up and we got a beautiful place to shoot all of these asteroids i'm gonna need more redstone to build this stone generator though and some more blocks to build with so let's start shooting these asteroids and try to collect some more resources Ooh, another villager spawn egg now you have a friend a satellite is what i'm aiming for literally 
because that is what gives me all the good redstone stuff that I need. Ooh, another floating astronaut. And I got a horse swan egg. Hey, yo, you gotta take cover, man. You might get hit. I told you. But let's make sure I don't run out of oxygen like last time. All right, and let's get back to shooting these monkeys. Whoa, I got a moss block. That's something new. Okay, finding satellites is rarer than I thought. I've only shot four in the past two days. This is taking a pretty long time. Right now, I currently have three stacks and 11 pieces of redstone. So let's continue shooting all the way until day 20 and see what I can get. And also, that's really exciting because my asteroid will expand. Pew! What did I get? I got another villager. Hey, we got three buddies now. I'm just hoping no aliens come by and attack me. Oh, and it's day 20 and it's saying my asteroid will grow in size in 10 seconds. Okay, I'm super excited. Oh, my oxygen supply is really low and it expanded. And I got advanced. Ooh, it expanded out here. Oh my God, it actually is a lot bigger. Oh, dang, it's a lot bigger. Okay, these two villagers are already exploring, but it's looking pretty big. There might be some good resources in there. So let's fill up my oxygen and go check it out. All right. All right, let's go mining. Let's see what this asteroid holds. There's some more coal. Pretty boring. Ooh, I hit a layer of cobblestone. Maybe there's like a spawner in here. Um, I don't see anything, but there is some black stone. You know, what if I use my ray gun and try to mine with it? W would it work? Oh, I thought it would break the blocks. That would make life so easy. All right, I did a bit of mining and I can't find anything special. I guess it's just an old boring rock. It did get a lot bigger though. And it also gets hit by a lot more asteroids because the size is just so much bigger. But now I have more room to expand my island or i should say my asteroid let's take some cobblestone and start expanding my rock and this great asteroid really loves me he hasn't left my shoulder in a pretty long time he's my sidekick what should we name him guys let's, let's name him rudolph rudolph the parrot hey, go 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 uh, uh, breathe 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 oh how are these animals still alive without oxygen all right but now that i have a platform built out let's start working on a stone generator and then oh no oh i'm stuck oh, go. oh i'm stuck i'm stuck i'm stuck break up break up break up oh no no oh i just have one heart left oh my god and what happened to my villager I he i'm hearing some noises yo he's on fire no 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 i'll save you i'll save you what are you doing down here no don't fall down what are you doing get back up i can't save you i, I need to breathe oh okay space is a pretty dangerous place i need to make more of these oxygen generators Ooh, there are some satellites though i do need that Oh my gosh, I got two in a row. I just collided those two guys. But let's continue working on the stone generator. I forgot, really interrupted. And now you just mine this and you're chilling. You got a supply of cobblestone. And even better, if you have silk touch, you get the stone. But now let's spend the next couple of days just mining stone to get some cobblestone. And then I smelt this up so I can make some stone brick. And with the stone brick, I can upgrade this island and make it look even better and cleaner. Because right now it's, uh, it's pretty ugly. And there we go. Nine stacks of cobblestone. Now let's make a furnace. I smelt out this stone. Oh, I forgot I don't have oxygen. Oh my God. I really need more than one of these. Okay, let's break this. And let's try not to lose it from gravity. And let's just place it back over here. Imagine if we lose this and it just floats up to the moon. Oh, I would cry. Now let's take this smooth stone. Grab some iron. And now let's make some blast furnaces. Bop, 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 bop. Oh. And now let's smell. Why can't I use a blast furnace? I'm so stupid. It smells ores. Ah, oh, just wasted my time. I'm the dumbest YouTuber on the planet. Well, let's get rid of these. <laughs> That's a waste of time and let's just go back to normal furnaces and I smell all of this cobblestone all right i got my stone brick and let's replace the floor all with this new stone brick oh i just realized you can shoot the phantoms with your ray gun let's go i'm almost done replacing everything with stone brick i just need these final stairs and there we go it is all stone bricks now and it's totally reinforced i feel a lot safer with these asteroids flying by what do you want you're forgetting i have a call of duty ray gun brother yeah what you want what you want you don't want this smoke yeah what's up boy and Anybody else? Yeah, that's what I thought. The boy got a ray gun and a parrot on my shoulder. I actually think I killed my uh my gray one. What was his name again? I'm such a great owner. I forgot his name. What was his name? Ratatouille. I forgot what I named him. Also, I just realized this thing said I can craft a jetpack. Wait, I didn't even look inside this book yet. It's called a recipe manual. Let me open it. What can I craft? Crafting recipes, a jetpack, a fuel-based device that allows the wearer to fly, and it could be refilled by a fuel generator. And this is the fuel generator. And if you hover over it, it shows you the ingredients I need. Okay. Oh, I can craft one of these already, I think. Can I craft a jetpack? Uh, I just need one more satellite scrap because you need three. And right now, I only have two. So let's shoot down some more satellites and host for a satellite scrap so I can make a jetpack. Oh, this is, oh, that's not a satellite. That's a dude. Still no signs of satellites. They are pretty rare. I haven't seen a UFO yet.
yet either. I think it's something like day 30, UFOs will start to spawn. So I'm really excited for the UFOs because that is where the really good stuff is at. Oh, there's a satellite. Pew! And no satellite scraps. While I wait, let's just uh, harvest this food because I'm hungry. Oh no, I'm losing it all to the moon. No. Okay, that was kind of dangerous. Bruh, my potatoes. No. Okay, if I get my jackpack soon enough, I can go get my potatoes back. And my parrot decided to sit in the most risky place ever. Come on. You don't want to get hit by Dwayne Johnson. Get down. Bruh, look at him. Look at him float down as he's sitting. This is so cursed Minecraft. And I spent the rest of day 27 trying to find some satellites. And the entire time, I only found two. Let's keep searching. Oh, yes, finally. I got another satellite scrap. So that means I have three. And I think I need redstone as well as iron to craft this and my recipe manual. Got all the materials I need. Let's click the craft. And there we go. A jetpack, fuel 100, and hold sneak to fly. Let's put it on. Oh, I'm really excited. What is this going to do? Oh! I got a jackpot, boys. Oh my god. This is insane. How much fuel do I have left? 71. Okay. I really need to make a refueler, but this is insane. Look at this. I can touch these moons. Moons? What? I can touch these asteroids. Yo, see you later, island. I'm off to find Uranus. <laughs> oh, that sounded really weird. I'm already at 19 fuel. I'm going to run out. Jeez. Oh, I'm already out. Okay. Well, that was fun. Oh, I'm at durability too. Please tell me. Please tell me that durability fixes when I refuel it. Yeah, what do I need for a refueler? Iron, lava, redstone, and coal let's see i have two buckets of lava i have redstone i have just enough coal and iron okay i just need two more lava buckets to make the jetpack refueler so you guys know exactly what that means time to shoot some of these asteroids until i get two lava buckets oh no phantom oh i just saw a guy go by what did i get Ooh, another horse kind of useless where did the phantom yeah go away got a ray gun boy you can't hide from me and nothing just yet getting resources from the asteroids is actually harder than you think because it just gives you so much random stuff stuff you don't even need like horse spawn eggs i have four i'm about to have a whole family of horses well let's continue shooting lava lava buckets where are you i need lava all right finally got an extra lava bucket i just need one more hey there we go another lava bucket all right let's take my lava buckets my redstone coal and iron and my recipe manual let's make this fuel generator and there we go let's slap it down right in the middle and this thing looks insane let's wear the jet pack and let's stand right by it whoa oh whoa what the oh i was holding sneak that's why jeez it refills it fast also refills my durability so i guess it's unbreakable and we are fully filled up let's go this would be so helpful to build with let's go whoa why is it so sparkly now i can build some pretty awesome things with this jetpack now like i can recreate earth or build mars over there build the moon build your anus <laughs> i already made that joke and look at this i can never fall off we unless i run out of fuel okay i'm good and unfortunately i think all my villagers died i have no idea where they are i tried warning them to stay away from the asteroids but uh they didn't listen anyways i did get a lot of spawn eggs from grinding of these rocks so let's expand this even more and make them all a dedicated farm let's take my stone brick and expand that way and there we go i even expanded the great wall of china now let's put some fences down and hopefully that is big enough to fit five different animals so now let's divide all of these so each animal has their own home and there we go i even added some fence gates here so i have a quick easy wait i don't need fence gates i could jump right over this oh my i didn't even think of that oh, ah, oh come on oxygen oh my god i really need a second one let's resupply on some oxygen while i do that let's go for a quick snack break get some water hydrate yourself and i'll be right back and now let's throw all of these animals in here. Let's get some chickens in here. Bop, bop. Some piggies. You guys remember Douglas? Let me know in the comments if you guys remember Douglas. Some kittens. Ooh, some cute ones here. This is my favorite pattern because it looks like my real cat. And her name is Oreo. She's so cute. Anyways, put my girlfriends down. And last but not least, let's put four horses in the smallest pen. And they all have saddles already. That is weird. Holy cow, look at their health. These guys are loaded. They could jump really high too. We got some space horses, guys. Dang, they're fast as well. And oh, my cat's already tamed all right maybe i shouldn't put them inside a pen all right come with me guys this will be your new home right in front of my chest i also have another parrot and another villager spawn egg so let's put this parrot down oh yo my parrot's back he's back from the dead i don't remember what i named him to be honest but he's back alive and now let's move the remaining cows into their new home i should also expand my farming area because it's a uh, super small and i'm running low on food i'm running on a stone brick though so let's quickly go mining for some more cobblestone all right let's grab all the stone i just smelted and let's start expanding the other side and 
And I'm being attacked by phantoms again. Thank God I have a ray gun. This makes my life a lot easier. And I only have two stacks of dirt in my chests, which probably isn't enough for an entire farm. So let's spend a day or two just shooting all these rocks again and trying to get some dirt. And I love doing this. It's actually so fun. And you know, you get to practice your aim a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's our first mob we got. Hello? And there's a creeper. The zombie has an astronaut helmet as well. Yo. Yo, we got our first creeper. Why am I more excited than afraid right now? <laughs> you can't touch me. You can't touch this. Okay, how is this creeper alive? He doesn't have an oxygen mask and you're dead. Ooh, that tells me though I can make a mob farm to get some EXP. That is really good actually. But let's collect some dirt first. All right, that should be enough dirt to start with. And I finally had a tree grow. That's the first tree I had in so long. Did that phantom just lay an egg? Did he lay two eggs? Oh, wait. Oh, that's from my chickens. I got so confused right there. And now let's start on the farm. And let's make a diamond hoe. Because, like, why not? It's the... <gasps> and let's put some stairs on the edges here like this. And let's put some water down. Oh, this will take a while. There's a lot easier ways to do this. But but I'm too lazy to change it. So, oh, wait, I can just do this. Huh? Huh. Yeah, so here's a little Minecraft trick. If you guys want an infinite water pool, but not fall into the water, just put stairs down so it holds it like this. And it's the best way to store your water. Let's take my diamond hoe, because I love me some diamond hoes. <laughs> and let's hoe this all up. Oh, I kind of messed up the design. This is five blocks long. Whoops. No worries. Let's just remove one layer. And let's hoe the ground. Let's take these crops. Let's try not to lose them to the air. Oh, I am. Good thing I have a jetpack. Whee! I can collect all of my items now. Oh, what's up, Phantom? Guess who can fly now? Yeah. Who's your dad? Yeah. You can't. You're not the only one that can fly. <laughs> yeah. Life is good when you have a jetpack. It really feels so fast, too. This is amazing. And that means this rock is going to expand for the second time, which is pretty exciting. And that will give me more room to build a bigger tree farm because this is just sitting there like a pimple on your face. It's just in the way. So let's break this and wait until day 40 to expand the tree farm. While I wait, I'm going to keep hunting for some astronauts to try to get some villagers spawn eggs because i have plans to make an iron golem farm in these 100 days to get iron block and i can make an epic shield made out of iron blocks surrounding this island to protect me from all these harmful asteroids and there we go i got three villager eggs and that is all i need and there's the warning the asteroid will increase in 10 seconds because we are in day 40 let's see how big this thing gets and there we go the asteroid has expanded let's put my jetpack on let's make sure i have enough fuel and of course to get attacked by phantoms and now let's go see how big it got Hopefully, I don't run out of fuel. Oh, I got a lot bigger, a lot deeper. This is really scary, though, because if I run out of jetpack fuel and I'm not careful, I'm going to die. So let's keep a good eye on that. But it's not bad. It didn't get any wider. It just got a lot deeper. But let's get on top of the island again. Oh, okay. Okay, I have 20% left. That scared me. I'm super excited for day 50, though, because UFOs will start to spawn, and I can finally upgrade my ray gun and make it shoot faster. Now let's continue expanding my island since I have so much more room, and this will make it a lot easier with the jetpack. I actually have no idea. This is kind of difficult. Yo, I got my first skeleton and knocked him into the void. No. He did look pretty cute with his uh, astronaut helmet on. Oh, no, I fell. Okay, get my jetpack on. Oh, no, come. Please, I have enough fuel. Please, I have enough fuel to get back up. Please, please, please. Come on, come on. Oh, my God. Thank God I have my jetpack. If I didn't, I would have just floated down slowly into the void and died. Oh, my God. That was nerve wracking. Yep, let's uh, start playing it more safe here. All right, there we go. The platform is built. And over here, we'll go with some oak sapling. And on this side, let's go with some spruce saplings. My favorite. And the island is starting to look massive. It's insane. It's growing so quickly. And somehow we are still intact after all of these asteroids have banged up against this very stone wall. I guess Donald Trump does build pretty strong and big walls. Yeah, I just call myself Donald Trump. But now let's start working on a new chest room because uh, all of my stuff is getting way too full. And I really need to start organizing. So let's make some chests. Bam. And let's build a new chest room right over here. Make them a little bit taller and add a bunch more on the side and maybe one up here as well let's change the back to some smooth stone to just, just to add some extra color add some singular chests on the sides that can hold some valuables like spawn eggs now let's add some extra lighting let's add shroom light with some trap doors and there we go my brand new chest room and then after that i think i'm gonna move my stone generator over in that little spot right there where my chests are let's get working and voila i think that is a lot cleaner having the stone generator over here and there's creepers and spiders now and more fans. Oh, this is so annoying. 
I can't be the only one who hates phantoms. Ooh, a flying dead person and a parrot. Yes, I love shapeshifters. I really like this color green too. It, it looks so satisfying to me. And now I have a plan to make a watchtower right here behind my chest room so I can climb up and it'll be like a little area where I can stand up really high and shoot all of these asteroids. And just to prepare for day 50 because these UFOs are going to be really special. First off, let's make a little smelting area because I need more stone to make this watchtower. And just like this. There we go. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Oh my God, I always get so low. Hopefully on day 200, I could get another one of these oxygen generators. But let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying this so far and tell me if you guys want day 200. Chuck all of this into the furnace. Bam, bam. And now we wait for some stone brick. While I do that, let's have some more fun shooting my Call of Duty ray gun. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, netherite scrap. Hopefully I can still use these satellite scraps as netherite scraps so I can get some netherite armor. That would be super cool. And this time I don't need to build a ladder or a staircase up because it would be awesome if I can use my jetpack and just fly up to the watchtower to make it a little bit more futuristic. So let's build it pretty high so it looks like an antenna from up here or something like this. This should provide a good foundation to start and then I'll line it up with some stone brick slabs just like this. Create a little border around. Oh geez, the asteroids are destroying my tree. I should probably build a shield around that. Oh boy, yeah. There's a lot more collisions up here. So I need to be really careful when I'm up here. This will be the door inside and out of the watchtower. Whee! Oh, that's so sick. And I do have a plan to build a turret up here or something. So it can shoot all these asteroids for me and protect me from aliens if an alien invasion ever comes. And there is my ghetto little watchtower. I'm gonna be honest, it looked a lot better in my head. And now let's start working on the turret. I got some black stone here. So let's make a long shaft. That sounded a little bit sus. And this will be the tip. So let's put some buttons on the tip of it. So it looks like a ray gun. At the back, I got some grindstone. So let's put some here so like it's an, it'll act like an exhaust. Oh no, I lost the grindstone up there. Let's refuel. All right, let's head back up there and grab the grindstone. Bop. And oh my God, there's a lot of asteroids coming really close to here. I think it'll look better if I add some walls like this and then the grindstones over here if that works. Please work. Oh, it's, it's kind of floating, but all good. Now let's add some levers around. Why? I have no idea. And now let's add some signs along the sides here. And there we go. I added some signs. I put some levers down because why not? And that is my turret. And this thing will protect me from all of the aliens and help me shoot the asteroids. And just watch it fire its cannon. It sounds so loud and powerful. And day 50 is on its way, which means that UFOs are about to spawn. They are pretty rare to spawn, but I'm really excited to see what valuable items it will hold. But while I wait for day 50 to come, let's do some harvesting. Oh, that is a problem. I totally forgot I'm in space and items float. Good thing I have a jetpack. Whee! This makes Minecraft so much more fun. And let's plant all these boys back. And might as well use this wheat to feed the cows. Let's feed these two pigs. Make some love. Oh yeah, techno pig. And fine, I'll feed the chickens. Well, let's just sit up here and wait until day 50. Somebody said some friends. And it is finally day 50. It seems like some of these asteroids have picked up speed though. But now let's just wait for the UFO to spawn. I have no idea how big this will be. Oh, that's a, U that's a UFO, right? Sheesh, look at that. It's like a whole other thing moves fast. Let's shoot it. Oh, I got the netherite scraps I was asking for. I thought it would be the size of that giant rock. But let's wait for another UFO. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. It moves so fast. It got me. Oh, shulker shells and emeralds. Okay. It seems like the common theme is it gives me super valuable items that I cannot get from all these dirty rocks and that one's coming right for me oh boy thank you turret for shooting it down but yeah it gives me really valuable items the only downside is that it's super rare i've only got two oh three three in the past five minutes let's shoot it down what did i get oh i got the same items i'm gonna spend a couple of days just shooting these ufos down to see all the different blocks and items i can get I had no fuel in my jetpack and I accidentally fell into this lava and it broke. I broke my jetpack. But so far, I've been waiting an entire day and I've only found four UFOs. That is not a lot. Oh no, there's a fire over here. What? I put it on my ray gun? I can't. But I'll keep waiting another day and see how many UFOs I get. But so far, this is all of the items that I collected. All right, I'm currently on day 52 and I only encountered one other UFO this entire day. There, there have been a lot more astronauts though and I've collected a lot of eggs. However, I feel like this is the only loot you can get from the ufos which is still pretty good but i really want netherite armor so i might spend oh there's another ufo finally and i got more iron one more piece 
netherite scrap though and some more shulker shells so i'm actually gonna spend the next two more days just grinding these ufos because i really want netherite armor and i'm back on day 55 with this i have 11 netherite scraps which will only make me two netherite ingots so i just need one more ufo hopefully and if i'm lucky enough i'll get netherite scrap and i should be good to just turn my armor into netherite i do have a lot of shulker shells though and there we go i finally got the netherite scrap i needed let's make some netherite ingots here and a smithing table and there we go i don't have a full set of netherite armor i didn't get the awesome advancement but but now i'm looking like an astronaut and now let's craft myself another jetpack because i just lost mine what bam okay now i look stupid without my netherite chest plate like, bruh i look like a poor minecraft player that makes 100 percent sense because i am but now let's start working on an iron golem farm so i can get some iron blocks and reinforce this wall and let's grab this beacon please don't land in the lava i need it okay and get out of the way parrot and let's start mining for some more resources and now let's smelt these bad boys up and while i wait let's go call of duty mode and shoot some more asteroids pew but i missed pew i missed again hey my aim is poo oh there we go mushroom egg see you later we wait 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 somebody please tell me how are they how are they falling down i just realized they fall downwards but when you drop an item it what? what i found a glitch in the system guys gravity is broken there shouldn't even be gravity but if i get to 3,000 shots fired my gun will increase the speed by half so right now it shoots every like 20 seconds but if i get to 3,000 shots fired it'll get to one shot per second which would be pretty pog champ but let's get to 3,000 shots. This is probably going to take like two full days of just shooting. If I do my math correctly, there is about 20 minutes in a Minecraft day. Ooh, UFO. Which makes... Let me pull up my calculator. Let's do some quick maths. 20 minutes times 60. That's, that's 1,200 seconds. Divide that by two. That's 600 shots. Oh, that's perfect, actually. So if I spend an entire 20 minutes right-clicking my mouse, I can get to 3,000 shots. Well, I'll see you guys on day 57. Yeah, I got so lazy, I just duct taped my right click mouse, and now we're at 3,084 shots fired. And now we have a one second shot time, so let's see how much faster it is. Oh my god, that's way faster. Just one second makes a huge difference. And if I get 10,000 shots fired, it goes down to 0.5 seconds per shot. And by then, I basically have a Negev or a machine gun. So hopefully by the end of these 100 days, I can get 10,000 shots fired. It should be a lot easier with this speed though. And now let's start working on the Iron Golem farm. First, we need a bigger platform. All right, this should be a big enough area for the Iron Golem farm. And let's start building. And building this would be a lot easier with this jetpack. It's pretty awesome living in space. Uh, no oxygen oh yeah one thing i don't like about space is that you can't breathe but somehow all these animals can all i gotta do is add the little box where the villagers will live and then get a zombie in there and i'm basically done all right the only thing i need now are beds and the only problem is i don't have any sheep unfortunately the astronaut doesn't give me any sheep eggs so the only way to get beds are to kill some spiders for a string and turn that into wool so let's remove all of these torches and try to get some spiders to spawn okay still no spiders but i just got one warning that the asteroid will expand i've totally forgot about this okay let's see how big it gets and let's go check out how big it got all right oh actually i don't even notice the difference to be honest oh it definitely got bigger a little bit holy cow okay yeah we did get a lot of extra room here oh my god it goes down deep too i gotta be really careful I don't run out of jetpack fuel but yeah it goes really down deep let's make sure i'm at least on top of a block but i still want to explore the inside of this asteroid see if there's anything good inside or anything special like caves oh my god what is happening are we getting attacked all right all right but let's go down here somewhere and start digging let's see if there's any secret caves or something okay i've been mining for a bit and i just can't find anything i guess it's just a solid rock i mean i guess that's what an asteroid is but now let's head back up now that the asteroid is so much bigger we're getting hit by so many more rocks i really need this iron golden farm to start working soon so i can make some iron block shields still no luck of any mob spawning i really need spiders so let's expand the island even more in hopes of some mobs to spawn and there we go this place is getting massive but now we we wait and see oh, oh oh we're getting mobs now i have no idea why but now oh my god why are so many mobs spawning now before there were no oh my god before there were none i just expanded like 15 blocks okay that is a lot of mobs i was not expecting that many to spawn look how cute some of them are though they some of them have the astronaut helmet on even the baby ones got the astronaut helmet on Pew! 
I literally have no idea what just happened and why so many mobs spawn, but I'll take it. Right, here's a spider. Let's shoot it with my ray gun. Oh my, I forgot they can climb. Oh, there's some string. Nice. Oh my God, a zombie apocalypse. And I need to get my oxygen. Okay, let's quickly make a move. Let's refuel on some oxygen here. Let's uh, build up here so they can't attack me. Oh my God. Okay, those creep. Oh my God, there's a lot of mobs. What just happened? Okay, let's kill these. Oh, okay. Ugh. All these skeletons are shooting at me. I need to kill these spiders. Let's get low enough so I can refuel. Oh, please don't blow up creepers. Can I refuel here? Yes, I can. Oh my God. Okay, what just happened? That creeper just blew up. At least it killed a lot of mobs. Oh, okay. Let's try to lead them into the void here. Please fall inside. Yes, fall in there. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die. Go, 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 go. These skeletons are dangerous. Okay, I need to get rid of these skeletons. Go away. Why did so many mobs spawn out of nowhere all of a sudden? I need to refuel here. Oh no. Oh no, please don't blow up. Okay, I'm getting really low. This is super nerve-wracking. Let's uh, get more blocks here and let's just build a little platform. Oh no. Okay, he's gonna blow up. Hey, get me out. Okay. Ow. Let's get in here. Finally. Can I? Okay, I could get oxygen here and refuel. Let's go. Okay, I'm safe. I look like a porcupine now. <laughs> look at me. I have so many arrows in me. All right, I have full oxygen and let's get ready. I have five pieces of string. Ow. If four string makes one piece of wool, that means I need 12 pieces of string for one bed. 12 times three is quick maths, 36 pieces of string. Call me Albert Einstein. All right, let's start killing all of the... Oh my God. Oh no, I hear phantoms. Get me in here. Ah! Okay, let's kill these guys first. Yeah, these creepers are making a mess around here. They're just blowing everything up. Where did all these mobs even come from? Yeah, there's a lot of spiders around here. Let's shoot them down. I feel like I'm playing an arcade game right now. I'm just flying around shooting mobs. Luckily, the mob loot flies up, so that makes life a lot easier. So I can just fly here with my jetpack and just collect the mob loot without being harmed. Oh, okay, be careful. Oh my god, they keep knocking me out. They keep knocking me out. Okay, I might run out of fuel. Okay, there's a lot of string over here though, but let's refuel quickly. Ow, ow. Leave me alone. There's a bunch just laying around, and these skeletons literally have 120% accuracy. How are they not missing me? Okay, let's kill all these skeletons. <laughs> They're all falling. Look at this. Where did they go? Whee! <laughs> okay, fall down there, guys. Look at these creepers fall into the hole. It's their own family that kills you. <gasps> no, no. Oh, no. There's not good. Okay, let's put another chest plate on. My jetpack just broke. Oh, no. My beacon broke. What happened? Okay, I need to collect that. I cannot lose that. Go, go, go. Okay. I have no idea how that broke. A, a creeper must have blew it up. But let's come over here and refuel. And go away. Get away from me. Get away. All right. You know what? What if I just stand here and shoot all of these guys? Let's just shoot all of these spiders and collect their string later. I'm just going to say this right now. The ray gun in Call of Duty is just a little bit stronger than this. Like, I don't think it would take 10 hits with a ray gun to kill a simple measly zombie. But that's just my opinion. All right, let's go in. Let's kill all these spiders. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. You guys got nothing on me. You guys got nothing on me. There's a lot of spiders over here. I never thought I would need spiders, but I do. Oh, okay, this is not good. Get back on the island. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Oh, no, got poison. Where's the witch? Oh, my God. Okay, this is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, I'm gonna be in a little bit of danger here. Let's just uh, run away. Way. And let's kill that witch over there because that guy is super dangerous. Get out of my farm. That's my potato farm. Get out. Yo, he keeps drinking. Oh my god, he won't die. Oh yo, did he did he poison my parrot? No, no. Eh, you're gonna have to pay for that. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I didn't think this would get so intense. Let's go with my axe. Come on, please die. Finally. I didn't think this would get more intense. I thought living in space would get easier as the days go on. This is getting way harder. Bruh, my chickens got slowness. Now nah, that is just uncalled for. Look at my pigs. They're so stinky. There's even green particles coming out of them. Okay, let's grab some materials to make another jetpack. I think this is all I need, please. And yes, we got one. Wait, we don't have one. Oh, these are netherite scraps. I need satellite scrap. And okay, I have three. Thank God. Let's quickly craft one here. Nice. And now let's go collect all of the string. Hopefully there's enough. And after collecting all of the string, I got 39 pieces. Now let's take my torches and light up everything back so all of these mobs can disappear. And now all we gotta do is get rid of the remaining mobs. And they are all gone. Hey, look, my iron golem farm turned into a mob farm. My asteroid is finally free of mobs. It was pretty chaotic. But now my island is completely ruined. There's holes everywhere from creepers exploding. The island is all fixed up. And now finally, I can make enough wool for beds. 10 pieces. And now finally, I can continue building my iron golem farm. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, yes. Finally, I don't need to transport the villagers into here. I can just spawn them
welcome in. Finally, my life is so easy. The only downside is I don't have any zombie spawn eggs. So I'm going to have to get one. Ooh, those asteroids come super close to these villagers. I might have to build them an extra barrier just in case the asteroid kills them. And I just realized halfway building this sunroof for the zombie, I'm going to get in that composter. There's no sun in space. So the zombie wouldn't even get burned. I built this entire roof for nothing. But let's get a zombie up here. And I think there's some mobs down here somewhere. Let's grab a name tag. Let's call it George. And let's drag a zombie up there. Please tell me there's a zombie. All right, no zombies. I see two creepers. Is there anything over here in this corner? To... Oh, there's a zombie. All right, come with me, Poppy. Whoa, why did I just call him that? I don't want you anymore. That's so weird. All right, up you come. Oh, an iron golem just spawned. I think I think I saw an iron golem back there. All right, let's trap him in. All right, and then let's drop him. I also have troubles getting him in the actual composter, though. Out. So let's try to push him in there. Come on, buddy. Get in there. All right, and finally, I got him in. Let's name him George. And now let's just slap a button on top of it and clean it all up. And I also think it'd be a great idea to build a little barrier for this zombie. Oh, we got first iron golem. Okay, it's working pretty good. But yeah, let's build a little barrier right in front of this zombie so any asteroids that come by won't kill them. And now all I gotta do is build a platform around this pool of water for the iron golems to spawn and I should be good. And there we have it. The iron golem farm is complete. That was pretty stressful, especially with all of those mobs. But there is an iron golem waiting, which is a good sign. Speaking about signs, let's put some signs down see that awesome transition d d d d d big d and lava now we break that ah we're gonna get burned oh wait no i forgot items float oh that isn't good items float up how am i supposed to collect it now i didn't even think about that oh man all right i'll do some brainstorming to see what i can do about this bro bro what just happened why did water just come down hold up take my jet pack and fly up and oh no that's i built it a little too high it's burning down the fence gates oh no okay don't burn down the composter i need this all right well i gotta redesign this now so the eye will fall here and get dragged over here and that should be far enough to where it won't burn these fence gates and i'm gonna quickly do some testing to see how long iron golems need to burn to die all right did some experimenting in single player and i figured it out what the heck is wrong why my boot what? hello my shift button's broken what i just used up my entire jetpack all right but anyways i need 14 repeaters on each side like this this and then i turn them all to four ticks light this bad boy up and now you just throw a lava bucket in there and when the iron golems come over here the lava sh oh wait 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 okay i didn't think that through i forgot about the water let's put some signs like this to block the lava and now the lava should dispense just enough time for the iron golems to die and then the lava will disappear preventing the iron ingot to burn and then it'll float up here and then we'll be collected somehow if that made any sense to anybody in this world so now we just gotta test it let's get rid of these iron golems i'm sorry guys but take the ray gun to the face. I'll take the iron though. And there's one over there as well. Let's kill him from here. Long range style. But here comes an iron golem right here. Okay. Oh, wait. The water puts him out too. Let me do some adjustments here. Also, haha. Day 69. Funny number. All right. What I did was drop the iron golems two blocks down. So the water won't put them out anymore. Now let's just throw in the lava bucket here. And now the lava is gone. And he should just die from fire. And there we go. And now the iron and everything rises to the top here. Which is, which is exactly what i want now i'm gonna add like a water stream and somehow put it into a hopper that is my plan all right i added some pistons here to prevent the iron golems from coming in at the wrong time and it works pretty good i think it's a little bit off the but it'll do and there's some iron up there which is a good sign and this guy will die the iron will come up and now let's start working on the collection system on the ceiling and this is gonna be so weird because who has ever collected items from the top and not the bottom that's so weird okay let's go all right i got the collection system built and hopefully it works oh that one just got burnt and there we go. That's basically an upside down iron golem farm. Probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And checking on the system, iron actually leads into these chests, which is amazing. And now let's just AFK this iron farm for like two days to see how much iron I get. And after two full days, this is all the iron that I got with one piece over here. That's not bad. And it turned it into iron blocks, like a 41. And let's keep stocking up on this until I have enough to replace this stone brick wall. We got to reinforce this real quick. It's taking a lot of hits. This is super weird, but I want to see how high I can go with the hunter percent fuel jetpack so let's just hold shift and see how high i can go can i reach the moon i'm somehow reaching the clouds in space that doesn't make any sense okay that, that's harder than i thought to be honest oh i got an achievement great view from up here awesome oh and that's it i wasn't expecting an achievement but i'll take it and like i said earlier if i get 10,000 shots fired my ray gun shoot time cuts in half so you guys know what i'm gonna do let's start grinding some shots i have 6,000 shots to go i'm not even halfway there yet so let's get shooting
after spending over an hour just right clicking my mouse and shooting all of these rocks asteroids ufos i have finally done it after all of that pain sweat and tears we are finally at 9999 shot one more shot and i'll be at 10,000. and here we are 999 one more shot this is for all of the beans i don't think i've ever said that in my life and why are my pants off what should we shoot at i think it's only tradition to shoot at my girlfriend <laughs> and we're at 10,000 shots fired baby let's go and oh no i can't lose that oh, okay i cannot lose this gun but wow it does look really awesome just like floating on the ground like that it even spins look at the detail on that ray gun but now since we're at 10,000 shots it should be even faster now so let's see if i notice ready oh my god yeah that's so much faster look at this i can't even see what i'm shooting at anymore it shoots so fast now this is a ray gun yes let's go but since i've been afk for so long shooting i have so much iron ingots now so let's grab all this and turn it into iron blocks and now we have over three stacks of iron blocks. i think it's finally time to reinforce this wall with iron blocks instead of stone brick and there we go finally it's all iron blocks and there's no way any of these asteroids are penetrating through this this is way too tough to be broken through kind of like my thick skull but anyways it's day 80 and you guys know what that means the asteroid is expanding for the last time of this video it's already pretty big now i really wonder how big the last asteroid will be so let's just wait and see i'm gonna go for a quick snack break i'll be right back all right there's the warning astro increase in size in 10 seconds oh i'm really excited how big it's gonna turn it's already pretty big let's see and it increased in size oh my god oh my god i was not expecting that what what is happening over here the asteroid is being hit by other asteroids it just broke my tree farm did it affect my iron golem farm i don't think it did okay it didn't but wow it just crashed into my island it actually looks so sick all right that is very different let's quickly refuel on my jetpack first before i explode Explore. and let's go check it out holy cow look at all this extra space it added there's even deep slate blocks here and what is this copper raw copper blocks dang i don't need that anymore i got myself an iron golem farm but this is massive kind of like my dick come on guys get your head out of the gutter but anyways this asteroid is massive and it's pretty awesome for the final one to expand but circling around this thing i noticed there were some caves in here finally so let's get prepared to explore those caves and see what's inside this asteroid i'm living on yo i'm here refilling oxygen and there's a hole in my villager home what happened hello yo these villagers got out what did our astro hit it i didn't even protect the villagers home i only protected the zombie what am i doing okay let's protect it now i'm sorry villagers i'll let you guys go back up there to sleep that will probably bring them back up to their bed oh you guys are all out now what why'd you guys all leave i'll build you guys a staircase up okay, maybe these villagers are a little too dumb i'm gonna let them be though i'm gonna explore this asteroid oh no that that one is heading straight for the villagers oh okay good thing i added that these asteroids Asteroids are getting so big and moving so fast. Anyways, I'm all fueled up and let's go check out those caves. I think it was over on this side. Let's go down. Oh, this is kind of risky. Okay, I found one over here. Oh my God. That's a lot of diamonds and a lot of emeralds. Oh, this is loaded with ores. This is literally what I wanted before. Okay, let's come over here and it's all good. Let's collect all these diamonds. Steal from the asteroid I'm on. Oh my, it keeps going. And that is 27 diamonds. Oh wait, I've got any oxygen supply. Oh no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I need to get out of here quick i have 40 fuel left i have 40 percent fuel left can i get it back up to the surface let's go try oh yeah definitely can come on okay i'll be safe right here oh and i'm out and i need to get my oxygen wow that is a lot of iron blocks so that looks sick but let's get up here and let's refuel all right let's take these with me this time and let's go oh it opens right here wow there's a lot of ores holy cow and there's more diamonds i think i have enough diamonds for now it's kind of peasant material i'm too rich for there's even more diamonds there all right this cave system is pretty massive if only this was the asteroid that i started on i would be set for life a lot of lapis so that would be really good to enchant with because i think lapis is harder to get than diamonds and that's where i was just at all right i think that's the entire cave no signs of other alien life forms though maybe on 200 days i'll find some aliens and maybe they'll be friendly or dangerous who will know but let's head back up Ugh. i'm surprised the jetpack can carry my weight these two villagers literally escaped just to make love down here you guys could have done that on a bed and now since there's so many more asteroids and there's so much bigger this one little turret i built cannot handle them all so let's line up this entire front field with turrets and ray guns and whatever things that shoot rocks all right got all the resources i need and let's get building And 
and I'm finally complete building these three turrets. It took me so long, and I'm taking heavy hits from all these rocks, but it looks sick. We got the main one right here with the rail guns, the giant one in the middle, the two little ones, and then like little shooter mini guns on the top. And then we got two little guys on the sides. And these ones are the fast ones that will hit all the little rocks flying by. This one will be for the aliens and the giant ones like that one. Oh my God. But don't worry, it's all reinforced and it won't break from the hits from the asteroids. But I must say all three of them look sick compared to that one up there. That one looks like a little pea shooter now. But now on day 87, let's put this ray gun speed to use. Since I can shoot so much faster, let's collect some more resources so I can make a little mob farm and collect some EXP. Hold up, there's no way. I shot a UFO and it dropped an end portal frame. I guess this explains how the UFOs travel so fast and enter new dimensions with these end portal frames. But this opens a massive door. Let's continue shooting all these asteroids until I get some UFOs and try to get more end portal frames. All right, I ended up getting another end portal frame after shooting like 15 UFOs. And according to my mathematical calculations, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need 12 end portal frames. But that's enough shooting for today. Let's work on a special area for this end portal. Since we'll be traveling to a different dimension, it has to be super fancy. And let's head all the way down here into my asteroid. Where's the hole? Right here. And let's take all of these ores from the asteroid and turn it into the area for the end portal. Let's get mining. All right, this is everything that I got from mining, which will give me even more diamonds to make into blocks and emeralds. And let's smelt up all this gold. Oh my God, I have a bunch in here as well. And I think I should build it over here on top of the actual asteroid. And let's just line it with some gold blocks. Wow, that looks amazing. And this is where the end portal frames will go right on top of these logs. Let's put some diamond blocks at the bottom. Let's surround the edges with some blocks of emeralds. And last but not least, build up the walls with some iron blocks as reinforcements from the rocks. And just a little fence design. Oh, I need oxygen. Okay. Oh, no, this is... Oh, no, I'm, I'm losing hearts fast. Go, 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 go. Please, 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 please. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, oh my God. Half a heart. I have half a heart. Oh, man. I wasn't scared. Not at all. You guys were scared. <laughs> lost everything but here it is this is gonna be my end portal room let's stand right in the middle take my end portal frames and put it bam bam and now i just need 10 more end portal frames until i can light this bad boy up and defeat the ender dragon but let's continue hunting for some ufos because i really need to get those end portal frames in before day 100 comes And that is all the junk that I got. And here's the good stuff. Four end portal frames. The UFO rates are definitely picking up. But let's put all of these down. And we're halfway there. We got six more left to go. But now let's quickly build a mob spawner farm so I can get some XP and enchant my armor so I can fight the ender dragon. And let's build a little platform out here somewhere. And over here will be the mob spawner area. All right, here's a little killing platform. And let's get started on building the mob farm. And it's gonna be the most simple one you guys have all seen before. And there we go. The dark room mob spawner is complete. Complete. Hey, yo, what? There's just a UFO chilling right here. Please tell me this isn't an alien invasion. I oh, it just disappeared. Oh my God. I guess UFOs do have teleportation powers. What? But soon we will have the same ability and power. Once we have all of the end portal frames, we will be able to teleport to different dimensions as well. Oh my God, there's a lot of baby zombies. Let's start grinding for some XP so I can enchant. I forgot they can all flow, so none of them take fall damage. Oh, but there's no point in even building it so high up. All right, I got 33 levels. And now let's make an enchantment table. And the first enchantment will be unbreaking. That's it. Next one, unbreaking again and fire protection. Wow, that is really bad. Let's continue grinding. And after an entire day of grinding, this is what I got. Protection 4, protection 4, and I enchanted my tools and upgraded them as well. That took a little bit, but I'm seriously running out of time to get these end portal frames. And just getting the six of these took me around three days. So let's continue grinding some UFOs. This is probably gonna take a while chicken but we're starting at 10,404 shots fired let's see how many shots i have by the time we get six more end portal frames you would not believe it but now i finally got seven end portal frames i got an extra one one ufo actually dropped me two but i think i started at 10,400 i'm at 12,650 now so according to my math if i'm albert einstein i shot more than 2,200 shots to get these oh my god that was a pain but let's place these down now and we are set i do have one 
one extra one though where do i put this um i just put it right here for memory's sake bam but next up on the list is ender pearls and i think i have some already yeah i have five from the crazy mob invasion earlier and nine blaze rods 18 okay that should be enough and now i need ender pearls all right let's start collecting some xp and i'm gonna try to get looting three of my swords so it'll be easier to get ender pearls level 30 let's disenchant this looting 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 i don't have lapis nice fire aspect two that's not good i'll see you guys when i have looting three of my sword okay there's looting two finally i'll take that that's better than nothing and now for the chaos again let's move all of these torches and hunt for endermen this is gonna be stressful okay so far nothing has spawned yet i'm guessing because there's a lot of mobs over there so let's just take my ray gun and shoot all of those mobs until they all die this is great <laughs> okay i still have no idea why they aren't spawning all right it's cuz i forgot there's caves here now so all the mobs are spawning down here i do see a lot of endermen here though which is a really good sign but this is kind of dangerous so let's quickly make a little area right here where i can kill these endermen safely put down my o2 generator and let's look at these endermen oh i don't like the look of them they're scary and let's hit them with my looting two sword die yes i got an ender pearl it flew up though <laughs> yeah that was the slowest yeet ever and that's seven ender pros i swear there was more okay eight is there any more there's one more up there come to daddy please drop your balls please be a guy uh that was a female all right i'll see you guys when i have enough ender pearls i just need four more so it wouldn't take too long all right i ended up getting 14 ender pearls let's turn all these into eyes of ender and we are ready to go let's come over here and light this bad boy up bop 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 and bam bam and we are ready to go to the end well i just need some more stuff and i didn't enchant the bow because i have my ray gun hopefully it does enough damage because i'm not going in there with the bow there's no way i'm using all of this i'll bring some water buckets just in case and now i should be ready to go hopefully this thing can break the end crystal because if it can't i'll be kind of screwed I, i'm not bringing a bow as a backup so let's place this i have entered right here just for good luck and let's go oh wait i totally forgot i need my oxygen supply oh my god if it went in there without that i would have died oh okay let's not forget this this if the ender dragon somehow breaks this thing i'm literally gonna die so this is super important all right we have an oxygen supply of 100 percent let's break this and we're ready to go yeet oh that's the slowest yeet i've ever had okay i'm in um let's just oh oh no okay i didn't have my jetpack on i, do, I, I was just gonna jump right in okay let's fly up here probably the easiest way to do this i finally don't have the bridge okay hopefully this ray can break these end crystals i really pray it can if it can't i'm gonna be screwed oh okay that's not looking too good let's fly up here and see please oh my god it doesn't break it that's not good um let's replace my jetpack and let's try to punch it hopefully it doesn't kill me let's punch it here oh, i'm scared i'm so scared to punch it okay it doesn't do too much damage let's fly up here and punch all of them hold up could this even do damage to the ender dragon oh my god i don't think it can i think i trolled myself let's put this down first oh it doesn't do any damage to him yeah it might have been a good idea to bring a bow the ender dragon was ready for me i wasn't i just punched them all out and the final ow there we go all of the end crystals are broken just by flying my jetpack let's place these down and refill fuel and i really wish i could hit him with my ray gun but i can't what kind of ray gun is this i thought the ray gun was so op oh no okay the end dragon was smart and shot a stinky ass breath right in the middle of my o2 supply but we are good because i can still access it just by standing out here and the only way for me to kill this dragon is to hit it with my axe you stupid ray gun i don't need you anymore i'm just gonna come back baby i need you okay he's coming down let's just hit him with my axe ow ow okay let me just sneak under you here oh <laughs> you thought all right i'm gonna have to think of a way to kill it yeah i can fly too you're not the only one that can fly now Ow. okay let's just hit his head oh it's hard to hit his head because when i jump i levitate uh, what did i do to you ah! please let me live okay he's perching this is my only time to do some damage on him okay where is he at let's hit his head ow, ow, ow. this is gonna be a struggle okay so far i got him pretty low but i need to refuel my oxygen okay let me fly up here try to hit him oh come on come to me come to me fight fight me like a man oh he's scared he's scared okay he's coming back down finally this is my only time to do damage on him it's invisible for some reason but i'm gonna just keep hitting it no why do you leave so early okay he's coming back down i just need to hit him a couple more times and he's gonna die my oxygen's right running really low though so this might be really dangerous come on come on he's so close come on did he fly away bro bro okay one last time why are you mad at what the heck did i do to you this is the most stress i've ever been in minecraft history okay he's coming down he's coming down all right this is the time this is the moment of truth all right let's sit right here come to daddy where's his head yes 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 we killed the other dragon 
Yes. The alien species lives on. Yes. Let's go. Give me all that EXP. Oh, yeah. All the Ender Dragon guts. Let me soak it all in. You know what? The end should be like this, by the way. It should have no gravity. And you should need to wear an astromer helmet to be in here. All right. But let's grab a torch. Right click the Ender Dragon egg. And we're oh, right there. And your baby is mine. Yes. Yeet. Let's go back to the asteroid. And we are back. Looks like everything is still intact, surprisingly. And the best spot to put the Ender Dragon egg is probably right here with the portal. But we are finally on day 100. Ooh, Ash. Ooh, UFO. And it just blew up before I could shoot it. <laughs> but yes, we are on day 100. And let's just not do anything on this very last day. Let's just enjoy this island and everything we have accomplished. We have done so much in these 100 days. And it wouldn't be this awesome without you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want day 200 on an asteroid, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys later.